Fred, most people trained in the sciences, as you and I have been, would reject the traditional religious view of immortality, life beyond our physical lifespans, eternal life, anything like that. From your perspective, looking at perhaps a deeper approach to quantum mechanics, uh, what do you think about the prospects for life beyond this mis minuscule few decades that we have? It seems to me that whatever we identify with as our material being has a finite lifetime. <laughs> Anything material dies, and that's it. So I don't identify <laughs> with that because is it, who wants to identify with something? I'm going to live forever, right? And so are you. Everybody wants to live forever. Sure. Immortality, that's what I want. But my body seems to say no to me? No, not to me, to my body. My body is deteriorating. It's going to fall apart. Quantum physics indicates that there is an unseen world that must exist prior to the physical world. The physical world is an adaptation or a popping out from this unseen world. And the physical world appears and then dies. It decays. It goes into rut. Whereas the unseen world doesn't seem to have any problem. Okay, so you, you see quantum mechanics as giving support to some of the traditional wisdom traditions of various religions or various uh, indigenous peoples that, that project some sort of a life for the being beyond the physical body. You see the two in parallel. I do. I do. I see them very closely related because it's just that's what these people tell me. That's what they. That's how they live their lives. They, they, in in all their indigenous ways, they don't see themselves as material beings. So why is it that we insist that materiality is the be all and end all of life? I I I don't get it. Let me let me give it to you. Okay. Let, let me say okay, you got me. I'm along with you. I want to believe what you do. I I obviously uh, probably you know question it, but let let me let me try to go along with you okay. on this journey. Oh, uh, I question it too. By the way, don't, <laughs> yeah, okay. don't okay. get me wrong. Okay. I'm not saying I'm totally blue. Oh, wow, okay, you know. sure. But but you're saying that in, in, we we take the data of indigenous people, we take the data of traditional wisdoms and different religions. Say you take the data from your perspective of quantum mechanics, and they all together sort of lead to the to where there may be a stronger possibility than modern scientific men may and women may may perceive about the possibility of eternal life immortality and all that yes i would i would say that seems to be pretty evident okay now what is it like i mean what can, look, try to go further than that okay what would it be like to to be <laughs> in this uh, i don't know disembodied state merging with the cosmic consciousness seeing god i, I don't know if I'm going to be okay. along with you, you actually, I want to know what, 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 what I'm in for. You actually know, but you've forgotten, and most of us have forgotten. As a child, when you first came into the world, being in an embodied state was, whoa, what the heck is this? <laughs> okay. Because you were disembodied. In fact, children are notoriously out of their bodies most of the time. And getting into their bodies, you know, all of that is trying to get into this thing. What the hell is this thing I'm in? You know, so that's how I look at it, that we've just forgotten. As we grow older and more accustomed to it, we get so accustomed to it that we believe that we are just the material processes of the body. And that's a, a belief system which gets very strongly put upon us by our parents, such as, don't hammer your sister in the head with the hammer. Don't jump out the window. Don't squeeze the cat's tail. Material, don't do this, don't do that. Don't, don't run across the street. You know, that's it. So we, we, we grew up that way. Okay, it's I, a conditioning. It's a mental conditioning. But in other cultures where they don't have that kind of stuff going on, their conditioning is different. All right, so take me then. I'll take you into Australia, for example. There, here's a woman. You're with her, walking with a woman, and she's just carrying a child. And she's walking along, and suddenly she stops. And her husband looks at her and says, what's going on? 
And she says, the spirit just entered me. What do you mean the spirit just entered you? You're obviously right. the husband has entered her because she's pregnant, right. right? She knows that. But no, the spirit, where are they in the land? And she looks down and there's a bunch of honey ants walking along a trail. And she says, it's the honey ant spirit. And now that child is born regardless of where they go in, in the outback. Wherever they end up, that child is honey, is, is honey ant spirit. And that child remembers in the dream that goes on what his spiritual essence is. And he doesn't see himself as a separate being from the honey ant spirit. He sees himself as honey ant spirit in the body of this material substance for this of time. So what are the implications of that, if, if I would go along with you, uh, in terms of, uh, of, of an afterlife? What would immortality be like he for me if, if I'm part of, 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 if I believe in what you're saying? From, well, from, the, from indigenous cultures, from religion, from quantum, I don't, I don't care. I just want to know what it's going to be like. You would have more fun because you wouldn't take this time around so seriously life could be more enjoyable because you can realize that you're a spirit acting out this role this time around. Let's say you come into this, I mean, this is part of the philosophy. You come in and you have some kind of impediment. Uh, maybe you were born uh, with a, a, a bad leg or, or a speech impediment uh, or something like, with, like that. So you just look at it as uh, kind of like the Indian philosophy does, a kind of karmic thing which you get out of, and it's not, oh, it's not forever. So there's a tendency to, to devalue the immediate and value what's coming next. Oh, but I want to know what's coming next. I mean, what, what do you think that I would have to look forward to? I mean, I, I you know, have a lot of problems. I don't have a, a major impediments. All right, all right, I'll tell you. I've a reasonably good life, what but you, I, I, I'm not, you know, I, I want to live forever like you do. What do you want? And, and I, 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 That's yeah, the question. I, no, it's not the question because... I, because it, if it, you it, know what you want, then we'll, you can we'll, begin to work towards that in the next is, life. Is that right? If, if well, that's, that's right, that's, that's very what, important. That's what the Buddhists tell me. That's exactly. I want to know what you tell me. I'm telling you that too, okay. because it makes sense to me. When, you see, I learn by watching, listening, and 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 practicing whatever I can do. Sure, sure. And what it tells me that this life is 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 going to be over. It's not. It's it, it's fun, and I'm going. I'm, I'm enjoying it, but. It's not the be-all and end-all. Well, and when I look at what, what people like the Dalai Lama and how they practice, they're getting ready for the next incarnation. So how are you getting ready for it? By doing as much as I can possibly do to make the world I'm going to be coming into next time around more like what I want to see in the world, which is I want to have more science education in the world. I want, you know, I can tell you all the things I want to see in the world. I want to see people friendlier. I want to see war abolished. I will work in this lifetime to make, to do, to take what's called the Bodhisattva vow. I will do what has to be done to ensure that when I come back next time, it's a better place than the place I left. Well, maybe I'll see you there. I hope so.